The Steam Deck uses Linux, more specifically Arch Linux, and it uses its own compatibility layer called Proton to play all of your Windows games. Well, most of your Windows games. There are some concerns that some games, like Valorant, will never ever work on the Steam Deck due to its anti-cheat and the fact that it's not on Steam. Well, I guess that's why Valve gives you the option to install whatever OS, including Windows. If you've ever liked my content, please like and subscribe and join the Discord. About 90% of every gaming PC runs Windows because, simply put, that's where all the games are. If you ask a PC gamer about Macs, they'll tell you that Macs are not for gaming despite the fact that Macs have quite a few games on them. If you ask them about Linux, they're not even sure if Linux can even play games or even emulate for that matter. Yes, there are emulators on Linux. I've showcased this a couple of times. You can also game on Linux. In fact, it's probably better than gaming on Mac OS. I suspect this has a lot to do with Valve's Proton software. It's essentially a compatibility layer, allowing Windows games to run on Linux. But then the question is, why wouldn't just Valve use Windows on the deck? Well, it's because they didn't want to. They weren't happy with Microsoft's hegemony on PC gaming, and they were afraid. Around the Windows 8 era, Microsoft started the campaign of moving everything towards apps, as well as the Microsoft App Store. They even locked down the ARM version of Windows 8, so there began Valve's journey to making Linux a viable gaming OS. But enough about this, you guys want to know, can you run Windows on the Steam Deck? And the answer is yes, yes you can. And to answer your next question, no, it's probably not worth it, and I'll explain why. The first reason is the interface. When you boot up your Steam Deck, you will be immediately greeted by Steam and the Steam UI, and it's designed to be used with a controller layout. Windows isn't, at least not without quite a bit of setup. Have you ever used a modern console before? The interfaces are quite nice, and they're very cohesive, and in most cases, they're easy to navigate, especially with a controller, since, you know, that's all you can use. What Valve is giving you is the opportunity to have console-like ease of use with the power and performance and customization of a PC. Also worth mentioning is that the Steam Deck also has a desktop environment in case you need to use it. It comes with something called KDE Plasma, which is very Windows-like, and it's actually the desktop environment I use on my Linux install. While by default you don't have access to the root file system, you can go into dev mode and change any system files you need to change. If you need to access a desktop environment to make changes to your file system or perhaps manage files, you have that flexibility. You can switch back and forth on the fly. That said, most of the time in handheld mode, you're going to want to stick with the Steam UI. Also, yes, this device has a touchscreen, and Windows has touchscreen support, but honestly, the touchscreen experience on Windows is extremely subpar. I have a touchscreen laptop, and I don't even use it myself. All in all, Windows isn't really designed for these types of devices. Reason number two, suspend and resume. This is arguably the biggest reason why you shouldn't move to Windows. You know how on the Nintendo Switch, where you can press the power button and it just suspends your game, and then you can press it and then resume it from where you left off? Yeah, that functionality. Steam Deck has that. However, there's a more advanced implementation of this. More akin to how the Xbox Series X and Series S does quick resume. So if you're not in the know, basically the Series S and Series X have the ability to suspend games and resume them basically at any time. So let's say you're playing a single player game and you decide you want to play a different game instead. Instead of finding a save point or turning off the game entirely, whatever, you can just boot up the next game, play a little bit of that, and then resume exactly where you left off without even having to load the game again. That's extremely cool. And if it sounds magical, that's because it is. My brother actually owns an Xbox Series X, and so I had the chance to try it out, and it works exactly like that. And from what I've seen about the Steam Deck, it seems to work the same exact way too. And this will be a huge game changer. Reason number three. It's just a pain in the butt to do. You know why most people use Windows? 
It's not because they're used to it, it's because it's what's on PCs by default. And installing a different OS over top of that can be annoying. In fact, it is annoying. You need to set up an installation media as well as install it and do all that setup. It's a lot of work. Now, I know nothing about the biases, the boot options, the requirements to install Windows on a Steam Deck, but I do know about how to install OSs and I can tell you that that process is really annoying. And at the end of the day, it's probably not worth it. While Windows starts at 15 gigabytes with updates and security updates and whatnot, it'll up itself quite significantly. While Windows 10 starts at 15 gigabytes, after about a couple of updates, it'll go up to 32 gigabytes for the entire OS. If you're on a 65 gigabyte model, then you basically lose half of your storage. There have been some discussions about booting from SD cards as well as dual booting on your Steam Deck. In theory, this should be possible as Valve is allowing you full access to the BIOS and they even tout that you can install whatever OS you want. For the people that want to install Windows, you could always do that. I plan on installing Windows on an SD card so I can play my Game Pass games on the go, if I need to that is. The performance won't be as good as if you install it on an SSD, but I lived a good portion of my life booting Windows from a hard drive, so the speeds should be comparable to a hard drive. There's a million different reasons people will give you for not installing Windows on the Steam Deck. Some are valid, some are invalid, but those three are my biggest reasons as to why I won't be overriding SteamOS. You should also just give SteamOS a try before you attempt to wipe it.